Right, so this video is about stretching, in particular uh, with the hamstrings. And um, obviously stretching is something which, you know, I get lots of patients to do. And, you know, invariably patients struggle with this because the problem you've got is high frequency is the requirement to increase flexibility, certainly in a growth element of tissue. Um, the interesting thing is, is that stretching, um, you know, sometimes you're using that for muscular related things or for maybe even joint related things. And sometimes it can be localized towards trying to maybe lengthen tendon or target tendon as well. Well, basically this research paper I came across was looking at um, muscle stem um, and they were looking at using it alongside with stretching. So not as a separate entity alongside, but actually with the stretch. So the muscle stem is actually firing and they use the hamstrings here firing and contracting the muscle while in a stretch. And um, what they found is it did increase the actual length of the, uh, the muscle. So, and when you think about it, it makes good sense because when you perform a stretch, obviously you'll notice that you'll get a, a, quite a quick response of the tone of the muscle reducing, which then gives the perception of increased flexibility. I mean, it does give you increased flexibility, but it isn't growth of tissue or isn't lengthening of tissue it is more the muscle relaxes. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna grow tissue quickly either way, whether you use the muscle stem or, or not, because you're not gonna grow muscle uh, or length of tissue that quickly. But obviously, if you remember, what the stretch is doing is you're stretching it and then the body reacts to it to relax it, which <coughs> effectively takes the stretch off. Um, and then you've got to go a bit further then to get that stretch back on and then the muscle relaxes further and you can go further again. So uh, you're always chasing, if you like, the stretch within that. Obviously, when you apply um, a muscle stem with the contraction and shortening of the muscle, then equivalently the tendons are being lengthened. So obviously this is quite interesting because for one, they found that there's a length generally of, of the tissue, but obviously we didn't know where it was coming from, but it's pretty obvious if the muscle is shortening and you're pulling on it, you're gonna get more elongation to the, to the tendons either side. So a good example is if someone has got short hamstrings, say they're getting more tendon-based issues, say it's more um, proximal around the, the glute area, say for uphill runners and stuff, or maybe around the back of the knee. You could apply stretching in this fashion to increase the length of tissue. Now, like I say, it's not that you're gonna happen overnight. It still needs some frequency to it as well, but they did see an increase in length of hamstring by applying this with in synchronicity to using the muscle stem and with stretching. So it's another interesting study using muscle stem. Uh, like I say, not everyone's got access to it, so it has its limitations with regards to stretching anyone can do anywhere. But maybe there's some more interesting elements to it on the basis when it comes to more tendon-based kind of elements. But anyway, I'll leave that one here and I'll see you next time.